Hello my most amazing artists. We are going to start weaving and this time instead of doing a straight weave, we are going to weave going around in circles. So what we're gonna be using is these plates for our looms. However, right now they're kind of boring. They're just plain white. So we're going to add some color to them to make them a little bit more interesting. We're gonna use some of my favorite paints. I'll show you here. They're called jazz paints and they are a gloss paint, which means they're shiny. They're also a really sticky paint, but they have cool colors. They dry shiny. So it's really different from other paints that we use. So today we're gonna to be working in what's called concentric circles. That means one circle inside the next. So our looms are circle. We're gonna use a circle tracer and you're gonna do the biggest circle on here. And in the middle of your plate is the word, sorry, where is it? Is the word Chinette. What you wanna do is you wanna try and place that circle right around the word Chinette as evenly as you can so that you have a good circle to start with. Our weaving is going to cover up almost all of the inside here. So we are gonna paint it, but really it's the outside that we're gonna see more of. So I've prepared my paints. Now I just have them in the lids. Ms. Dethel, can you call the front office? Ms. Dethel, call the front office. I just have them in lids, but at your table, you have the little cups and at red table, there's red fluorescent and at orange table, there's orange fluorescent. So that's how I've set up the paint for you. So the brushes will stay at the tables. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna work from the outside Sorry, that's not the outside. From the inside to the outside so that I can hold on to my plate. Because if I start on the rim and then I've gotta go inside each time, my hand is gonna be in it, my sleeve is gonna be in it, I have got nowhere to hold. So I'm gonna start on the inside and move to the outside. The paint, okay, so the paint, uh, what color do I wanna start with? I'll do green. The paint is sticky. When you dip it in, it's runny. So you're gonna to wanna to be real careful because it's going to drip. If you take it and move it right away, sorry, that's hard to see, but it's, it's a drippy paint. So when you dip it in, you gotta wipe the side of your brush so it doesn't drip. You're gonna to have to pay attention to that and that's not something you're used to. So I'm just gonna come on here. I'm going to paint inside my circle to start with. See how this paint is sticky? All right, so I'm just gonna paint the whole circle one color, and then I'm gonna move in concentric circles going out. So I'm gonna use the flat brush on the next layer to make a real nice circle. And you wanna be careful with the paint so that it doesn't you know, pick up the color before it and make the brushes all gross. People aren't gonna be happy if that happens. All right, and you'll see when you start using this paint, it is sticky. Now it's gonna look wet forever because it's glossy. So it's always gonna have this shine to it. So I'm gonna leave my green brush at the green table cause that's where I would be right now. And then let's go to blue. So once again, the paint is sticky. It is runny. You have to be careful so that it doesn't go everywhere when you start painting. So now I'm gonna to come to my next color and I'm gonna run my flat brush right around the outside. You can make a real nice edge with a flat brush. I'm going to speed up the video as I paint the rest of this. See how I just dropped some on there? Ugh. I'm gonna speed up the video as I paint the rest of this.
All right, there we go. There are my concentric circles. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let it dry and it'll stay shiny like this. <clears throat> uh, you're gonna bring it to the drying rack so that they can dry. And then um, you'll have to clean up your hands. When you get the paint on your hands, you'll see how sticky it is. Um, but this is just kind of a fun way to make a really nice colorful loom. And then next week I will show you how to warp your loom and then how to start weaving on it. Here we go, friends.